Hello dears welcome to my channel maths for you by atam rehman in this lecture today we are going to take up unit number 16 of grade 9 theorems related with area before going into the detail proof of theorem 16.1 let me discuss something before that parallel lines parallel lines are those lines which never intersect each other that is the distance between them is always the same or in other words the altitudes of those parallel lines are always the same while intersecting lines are those which intersect each other at a specific point that is the length of their altitudes is always different statement of theorem 16.1 parallelograms on the same base and lying between the same parallel lines or of the same altitude are equal in area given let we have two parallelograms a b c d and a b g h having the same base ab and both lying between two parallel lines l and m that is both have the same altitude to prove we need to prove that both the parallelograms abcd and abgh are equal in area constructions Let's name the angles as shown in the figure. The final step of the theorem is to prove it. As in proof, we need two main portions. One is consisting on the statements, and the other is for the reason and solid ground provided for the given statements. Now if we compare the triangle ADH with triangle BCG we see that the side AH is congruent to the side BG what's the reason for this the reason is that they are the opposite sides of the parallelogram a b g h also the angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 the reason for this is they are the corresponding angles of the parallel lines ad and bc when they are extended similarly angle 3 is congruent to angle 4 they are also the corresponding angles of the lines ah and bg when they are extended hence by side angle angle postulate triangle adh is congruent to triangle bcg in other words we can say that both the triangle have the same area because they are congruent and we know that if the triangles are congruent then they will have the same area
Now, if we subtract each triangle from the whole figure, that is, from the quadrilateral A, B, G, D, we get parallelogram A, B, C, D in the left hand side, while parallelogram A, B, G, H in the right hand side. Thus, we conclude that both the parallelograms A, B, C, D and A, B, G, H have the same area. That is, they are equal in area. And this is what we want to prove. Theorem 16.2 Statement of the theorem Parallelograms on equal basis and having the same altitude are equal in area. Given Suppose we have given two parallelograms A, B, C, D and E, F, G H having the same altitude that is both lying between the same parallel lines L and M. Also it is given that the parallelograms have equal bases that is AB is congruent to EF. To prove we need to prove that the parallelograms A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H are equal in area. Construction Let us join A to H and B to G. First, we need to prove that A, B, G, H is a parallelogram. As from the figure, it is quite clear that H, G is congruent to E, F. The reason is they are the opposite sides of the parallelogram E, F, G, H. Also, it is given that AB is congruent to EF. The reason is quite clear that it is given. So, by transitive property, we can obtain from these two results that AB is congruent to HG. But AB is parallel to HG is they lying between the same parallel lines. So from these we conclude that A, B, G, H is a parallelogram. Why? Because the opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Hence area of the parallelogram A, B, C, D is equal to area of the parallelogram A, B, G, H. The reason for this is parallelograms on the same base and line between the same parallel lines are equal in area. Since they have the same base A, B, so that's why they are equal in area. Now, area of the parallelogram A, B, G, H is equal to area of the parallelogram E, F, G, H as they have the same base H, G.
Thus, by the transitive property, the area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of the parallelogram EFGH. And this is what we want to prove. Hence, the theorem is proved. Now I can hope that you understand the concept behind these two theorems and it will be easy for you now to understand them. Mute you in the next video. Thanks for watching my channel. Hope you will subscribe, like and comments in the box. The link of the video is also given below in the comment box.